I'm Rhonda Holybear, and I am a Lakota doll artist. I have always, always been an artist. Well, I always loved dolls when I was a little girl. I liked to play a lot when I was little, and that's all I wanted to do was play. When I was about 11 or 12, my mom was telling me that I was getting too big for dolls and that I was growing up now. And I remember getting really, really upset about that and thinking, like, I'm never, ever going to quit playing with dolls. Never. <laughs> and so I haven't, I haven't stopped either. <laughs> For me, dolls were a really great way to learn about the culture. When I first started out, they they kind of mimicked the old dolls of the past, where they were like a stuffed buckskin. But as I began to evolve and do a little bit more research, I wanted to talk more about our people being more like a family. And so I incorporated the uh, carving of wood, you know, that were rooted in the earth and that, you know, our family branches out. I can hear actually the powwow drums and remember like a lot of powwows and um, remember um, being a little girl waking up early in the morning and, and hearing the, the men talk, hearing them talk in, uh, in Lakota and uh, all the women getting breakfast ready. To be an industrious woman was like, um, that's what you wanted to be. You wanted to um, be creating like all the time and I just wanted to be um, like all of the grandmothers that I, that I saw. I'm looking at what the artists of my culture, the work that they produced, and they left a lot of it for us to be able to see, and so I'm very, very inspired by it. I did so much research that I re started to really realize how heavy a lot of the stuff was, how really, really deeply spiritual things were, and this was a very, very delicate culture that has been interrupted, disrupted, and we're just now getting back to a lot of it. To revive some of that and bring that back, is that's pretty important. A lot of the time, some of these pieces will take me two, two and a half years to make. Watching it become something, watching it become reality, you have worked through um, emotions and you've grown and you, you look at yourself a little bit differently. You're more evolved. To me, that's what art's about. It's about emotions and that's the most rewarding thing. <laughs>